the little city that could. That's how many Ukrainians see Mykolaiv, a shipbuilding city on Ukraine's southern coast that's managed to stand in the way of a Russian army advance towards Odessa in the west for weeks now. But it's come at a consistently high price. This was the moment when a Russian airstrike hit a regional administration building nine stories high on Tuesday. And this is 24 hours later. Rescue workers still looking for the missing between heavy layers of concrete, the building shorn nearly in two. Seven people who were in my unit have now died, says Ilya Zelinsky, a soldier in tears. Others, he says, are still missing. Nikolaev has been under intense pressure throughout the Russian invasion. This is a strike at the heart of the administration here and a message for the governor, Vitaly Kim. Widely seen as a thorn in Moscow's side, Kim held a press conference to condemn the attack. I don't care about buildings and about um, some papers, or etc. The main problem is uh, civilian people who are heroes, who, who was working during the war. Ukrainian forces say they continue to push Russia back from Mykolaiv, but people here say their success on the ground could mean an escalation in air attacks. They didn't manage to come to our city, says Andriy Shevchenko. That's why they're starting to bomb and shell us, he says, just like in Kharkiv. The territorial defense leader is taking us to see evidence of what he says are cluster munitions being used against civilians, spraying out when they hit for maximum damage. He sent his family away to Germany while he fights. My father was born here, he says, my grandfather, and this is our land. And this is not a city to be underestimated. That much is evident in those who've decided to stay or in the civilians who've decided to fight any way they can. Margaret Evans, CBC News, Mykolaiv.